Hello guys, today we are going to discuss about booth multiplication. Booth multiplication is used to multiply signed numbers using two's complement representation. To perform the booth multiplication, we have to follow these conditions. The first condition is if the multiplicand is a negative signed number, add sign bits extension to the summands towards the left side. Uh, summands also called as partial products. The second condition is if the multiplier is a negative signed number, use booth multiplier recording to modify the multiplier bits and add sign bits extension to the summands. The third condition is if the given numbers are negative signed numbers represent in two's complement form. Now let us see how many combinations of multiplications are possible with the different signed numbers. Let us take multiplicand as m is multiplying with the, the multiplier q. Now, if the multiplier is a positive signed number, if it is multiplying with the positive signed number of the multiplier, then the product will be obtained as a positive signed number. Similarly, if a positive signed number is multiplying with the negative signed number, then we will get the negative signed product value. When we multiply minus with plus, we will get negative signed number. Similarly, minus into minus means which is equal to plus. This is the positive signed product value. These are the four combinations to perform the both multiplication with different signed numbers. Now let us move to perform the both multiplication for all these four types of combinations of the numbers. The first combination is both are positive signed numbers. The first number is plus 12 is multiplying with plus 2. The plus 12 is multiplicand, plus 2 is multiplier, it should be represented with the Q. First, we should convert these decimal numbers in binary form. Plus means the sign bit value is 0 for plus. Sign bit value is 1 for minus. Including sign bits, we should write the given decimals in binary form. So that plus 12, which is equivalent to plus is 0. 12 means based on the binary weights 1, 2, 4, 8. We should write it as 1, 1, 0, 0. This is the equivalent binary. Similarly, for plus 2, plus is 0. Usually, to write 2 in binary form, it requires only 2 bits, 0 and 1, based on the binary weights 1 and 2. But in both multiplication, we have to follow the 2's complement representation technique. For that, we have to take equal number of bits for both multiplicand and multiplier. That's why we have to place the two more bits towards the left side. Now, we should write the 0, 0, 1, 0. This is for plus 2. Now, we should perform the both multiplication for these two binary numbers. Let us rewrite the binary numbers. 0, 1, 1, 0, 0 is multiplying with 0, 0, 0, 0 1, 0. Now, this is the multiplier this is the multiplicand always the multiplication starts from lsp the first bit is zero when the multiplier bit is zero all the multiplicand bits goes to zeros if it is multiplying with one the same multiplicand will repeat that's why zero zero one one zero again three zeros we have so that just shift left side one bit every time one position and write five zeros for the next bit zero again we should write the all zeros again all zeros now we should add all these numbers the resultant is zero 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 means zero here it is one sum this is one zero 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 now this is the final product value. We should check is it correct or not. By assigning the binary weights, we should check the answer. This is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. No need of writing the binary weights for these 0 bits. Only up to 16 we have 1s and 0s combination. Now we should add the corresponding 1s bits of binary weights to get the final answer. 16 plus 8, 24. This is our answer. 
the product is 24 in decimal form. Now we should cross check with the direct multiplication of plus 12 into plus 2. So its answer is plus 24. Yes, these two are satisfied. Now our both multiplication process is completed. The second combination of the numbers are positive sign number is multiplying with the negative sign number. Now Again, we should convert the given decimal into binary format. Plus 12 means 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. Minus 2 means minus is the sign bit is 1. Now we should write the equivalent binary for 2. First 0, 0, 1, 0 as usual. Later, we should rewrite this number in terms of 2's complemented value. So the correct answer, the correct binary for minus 2 is 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. This is the minus 2 value because this is the 2's complemented value. Always the negative numbers should be in 2's complement form according to the third condition. Okay. Now we should perform the both multiplication for the given two numbers in binary format. But here the multiplier is a negative signed number. Go to second condition. If the multiplier is a negative signed number, use both multiplier recording and add sign bits extension to the summands during multiplication. Okay. So first we have to convert this multiplier with the help of the both multiplier recording. How can we convert this one? First we should rewrite the multiplier bits. 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Append one more 0 towards the right side in the place of LSP. Now we should write the values. 0 minus 0 is 0. 0, 1. 0 minus 1 means minus 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. These are the equivalent bits for multiplier values. Now we should start the multiplication process. When, when we multiply with 0, LSP, all the multiplicand bits should become as zeros. So 5 zeros. And then if the multiplier is a negative signed number, add sign bits extension to the summands. That's why we have to add, depending on the sign bit, here the sign bit is 0, so that we have to add the 5 more bits towards the left side for the first summand. This is called as summand, also called as partial product. The reason is when we multiply 5 bits multiplicand with the 5 bits multiplier, we should get the product with the 10 bits. That's why we have to fill leftmost 5 bits with the zeros. Now come to the minus 1. Minus 1 means when we multiply multiplicand with the minus 1, that means minus m. It becomes as minus m. Minus m means 0, 0, 1 as it is. The remaining bits should be complemented. This is the 2's complement of multiplicand. Now use this 2's complement value wherever it requires. Here it is minus 1 so that we should add the 2's complement of the multiplicand to the previous summand. Now move to the left 1 bit position and write the 2's complemented value that is 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. The, here the sign bit is here the sign bit is 1 so that 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay, this is called as a sign bit extension. Again, here through three here next is zero. So all the multiplicand bits becomes zero, 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 five bits. This is zero is a sign bit, so that we should fill three more zeros. Again, zero, 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 zero. Again, zero is the sign bit, so that we should add two more zeros. Again, zero, 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 zero. Here it is, 0 is the sign bit, so that we should add one more 0. Now, we should add all these summands to get the final product value. The product is 0 as it is. This is P0. So, always the product should start from P0 to left side. Now, the second one is 0. Third sum is 0. This is 1. This is 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay. Now check the sine weight value. This is negative sine weight. That means 1. So that 
the product is in the negative signed number so that the product is a negative signed number so to get the correct answer again we have to convert this product value in terms of two's complement that's why the two's complement value of the product which gives one is same don't change the sign bit now here zero 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 one one zero 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 this is the two's complement value of the product now we should cross check whether this is a correct answer or not by assigning the binary weights 1 2 4 8 16 here no need of assigning the binary weights and this is a negative sign okay now 16 plus 8 24 so minus 24 the answer is minus 24 now we should check with the manual procedure already we have minus plus 12 into minus 12 which is equal to minus 24 this is our required answer okay the third case is the multiplicand is a negative sign number and the multiplier is a positive sign number Again, the same procedure, minus 12 means its equivalent value is minus means 1, 12 means 1, 1, 0, 0 binary. The 2's complement value is 0, 0, 1, 0. This is the 2's complemented value, 0, 1, 0, 0. Now, for plus 2, its equivalent value is plus means 0, 2 is 0, 0, 1, 0. Okay, these are the equivalent binaries. Now, According to the first condition, if the multiplicand is a negative signed number, add sign bits extension to the summands in during or partial products. Now, let us start our both multiplication process for these two binary numbers. Let us rewrite the two binary numbers 1, 0, 1, 0, 0 is multiplying with 0, 0, 0, 0 1, 0. Now, when we multiply with 0, the less b, all the multiplicands bits should become as zeros, 5 zeros. And according to the first condition, if the multiplicand is a negative sign number, add the sign bits extension to the summands or partial products. That means this is the sign bit so that we have to add 5 more bits towards the left side because the total number of bits of multiplicand and multiplier are 10. When we multiply with 1, the sum end is equal to the multiplicand bits. That means 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. Here the sign bit is 1 so that we should add the 1, 1, 1, 1. These are called as a sign bit extension. Now again we should multiply with the third bit 0. So all the multiplicand bits should become as zeros. 5 zeros. This is the sign bit so that we should add 3 more zeros. Again, one more zero, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. This is the sign bit so that we should add 2 more zeros. Again, one more zero is there, 0, 0, 0. Now it is sign bit so that we should add one more zero. Now add all these summands to give the final product value 0, 1, 0, 1. 1, 1, 1, 1. Here again, we can check that this is a negative signed number. So that we have to complement the give, obtained product value. So that we have to write the two's complement for the product value. Its equivalent answer is 1 as it is we should write. Now the two's complemented value is 0, 0, 0, 1. The remaining bits should be complemented 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now we can check this is our final answer product value. Now we can check whether it is correct or not. Again, we should assign the binary weights 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. 16 plus 8 is 24. Okay, it is a minus so that its equivalent value is a minus 24. This is the product value. Again, we can check here manually. Minus 12 into plus 2 means minus 24. Yeah, our answer is correct. The fourth combination is negative sign number is multiplying with the negative sign number. Both are negative sign numbers. Now, manually we will get the answer as plus 24. Now, we should check with the help of the booth multiplication. First, we should convert the given numbers in a binary form. 
for minus 12. The binary is minus means 1, 12 means 1100. The two's complemented value is according to the third condition. Write the two's complement. The two's complemented value is 0, 0, 001. This is 0. Now it is 0, 1, 0, 0. Similarly, for minus 2, minus means 1, 2 is 0, 0, 1, 0. Two's complemented value is 0, 1, 1, 1. 1, 1, 1, 0. Now, according to the second rule, here it is a, if the multiplier is a second, if the multiplier is a negative signed number, use both multiplier recording. This is the first condition in this. Now, write the equivalent multiplier with the help of the both multiplier recording. For this, append one more 0 towards the right side. Now, 0 minus 0 is 0, 0 minus 1 is minus 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0. This is the new multiplier equivalent value. Now, this is minus 12 value, this is minus 2 in, this is equivalent value for minus 2. Now, we should start the multiplication process. Rewrite the binary numbers 101, 00 is multiplying with 000 minus 1, 0. Here, this is multiplicand, this is a multiplier. When we multiply with 0, all the multiplicand bits should become as zeros, 5 zeros. Now, according to the first rule and second rule, if multiplicand is a negative sign number, and multiplier also a sign number, we have to add the sign bit extensions. So that so that so that this is the sign bit value. So we have to add five more zeros towards the left side. Now when we multiply with the minus one, we should write the two's complement of the multiplicand in the sum and part. So the two's complement of M is 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. This is the two's complement value for the multiplicand. Now, when we multiply with 1, we should write the two's complemented value here. 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. Here, the sign bit value is 0, so that we should add four more zeros. Now, this is the third bit is 0. Again, we have five more zeros. These are five more zeros. Now, here it is. Again, this is the sign bit. This is the sign bit. Add three more zeros. Again, zero is the sign bit. Five zeros we should write. And add two more zeros because this is a sign bit. Again, another zero is there. Zero, zero, zero. This is the sign bit so that we should add zero. Now, add all these summands to get the final product answer. Here it is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. The leftmost bit is 0 means it is a positive number, positive product number. So that no need to change into two's complement form. So this is the final answer. Now we should cross check with the decimal equivalent value. Here it is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. No need to assign the binary weights for these to verify. 16 plus 8 is 24. So our answer is plus 24. Now we can check with the manual procedure. Plus 24 into plus 24. This is the answer. Yes. So that our answer is correct. So these are the examples for both multiplication with the different signed numbers. 